In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a histogram in SPSS. So the data file that I've got here is the sleep data with 11 cases. And I'm going to create a histogram with these 11 values that form the sleep variable. And I'm going to try to make it to look like this, which is close to what you might present in a report. In fact, you would definitely be able to present this in a report. So let's check out the process. Go into Analyze Descriptive Statistics Frequencies, and then put the sleep variable in the variables box, and then click on Charts and Histograms. And here you'll get an option to include a show normal curve on histogram. And if you want to do that, then click it now. If you actually create a histogram and then later want to add the curve, you don't have to redo the histogram. There's a way of doing it within the figure. Now, I don't want the frequency table right now, so I'm going to deselect that. And here we have the histogram as it's outputted normally, like without any specifications in SPSS. This is the standard output. This is not something you could present in a report. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways to clean this up and make it look better. So double click on the chart, and what will happen is you'll get a viewer come up. There we go. It's called the chart editor. And I can double click on, again, the chart right in the middle. And I want to change this gray color to no color whatsoever. And I also want to get rid of this border around the chart. Click on border, and then click on this transparency option, and then click apply. And it's already starting to look better. I want to get rid of this histogram title. Just click on it and then press delete, and it disappears. These are some statistics, some basic descriptive statistics that I'm going to cover later. We don't want that in the histogram, so I click on it, and I click delete. And to be honest with you, this is one part of the program that's a bit funky. Sometimes you have to move it around. See how I just moved it around? And now, I'm, there you go, now it deletes. Sometimes you can't delete it until you move it a little bit. So a couple of other things I want to do is I want to make this chart smaller. So here's the properties box that allows me to do that. So every time you double click on the chart, again, I'll say this is what I've got here. Not really close enough to publication quality. So double click again to activate it. Get in the chart editor. I want to make it smaller, and I probably want to make it a bit more square. So I double click again, and then I get the chart size tab. I don't want to maintain aspect ratio because I want to change that. So I want maybe something like 4.5 by 4.5 and click OK. That's starting to look a bit better. And now I want to double click on the bars themselves, and I want to change it to a nicer color, like a blue, like that. I can change the font size. I would recommend something like 12 and go with a bold so that it can actually be visible. Now, if you click on the word sleep, which is the x-axis label, and click it again, you have to click once, then again, you'll get access into it and change the letters. I want it to put a capital there. I want to put that 12. It's already in bold. Now I want to do the same thing with frequency. Just click on it. Now it's activated. Change that to 12. It's already in bold. And I want to change the frequency y-axis font. Click 12, bold. And now we're getting somewhere closer to something that's publication quality. I want to change the scale. So double click on the scale, the numbers here, and click from 2 all the way to, say, 12. And that's going to change the range. And I can change the major increment. Right now it's going 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I want to have only one increment there, values of 1. And that could be something that you might publish. I would have to, to be honest with you, most people wouldn't actually publish the error bar with the chart. But the only way you can get rid of it is by making it transparent, to my knowledge. There might be another way to do it, but this is surely one way to do it, is to make it transparent, and then it's gone. So that is a way to create a histogram in SPSS.